Hi friends, hope you are fine. Suppose we have an original culture. This is called as a master plate with many bacterial colonies. If we want to keep this master plate intact and to conduct further experiment using these colonies, the technique we adopt is called as replica plating. Simply it means replicating the plate or making plates with the colonies in the same position. Replica plating is a technique by which each colony is inoculated onto multiple secondary plates according to a numbered scheme. That means numbering the colonies just like this colony number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that by keeping the position of colonies intact. So these are the secondary plates after replica plating. So here or as you see the position of the colonies remains intact or same compared to the original plate or master plate. It allows each colonies to be tested by variety of methods while retaining the master plate intact. Let's take an example to understand this concept better. So replica plating enables us to compare the master plate and the secondary plates to screen for a selectable phenotype. Suppose if we want to find out which of the colonies here is ampicillin resistant or antibiotic ampicillin resistant. What we do is we do a replica plating. So these are the positions. So this is the original culture. We'll be using a disc with a velvet and this is gently pressed on this master plate and that is the print is taken and that, it, that imprint is transferred to our required medium. Here there is normal medium and also the medium containing antibiotic that is ampicillin containing medium. Fine threads of velvet acts as fine inoculating needles by transferring the colonies keeping the position same as that of the master plate. We are actually replicating the colony position intact into the secondary plates. After inoculation as we know, in normal medium, all colonies will grow in the same position as that of the original culture. In ampicillin-containing medium, only colonies that are resistant to ampicillin can grow. Here, as you see, uh, these are the colonies. So we can compare this plate with the master plate to find out the colony which is ampicillin-resistant. So here the position this is the colony number one and this is the colony number two colony number six and three exactly is ampicillin resistant replica plating allows us to find out a selectable phenotype by keeping the original culture intact so we can use these colonies for further experiment without disturbing the master plate one more advantage of replica plating is if we want to transfer these colonies one by one by streaking, it's a very tedious process. By, by just taking a print and transferring that into our required medium, we can easily transfer the original culture into many secondary plates. Hope you understand the procedure of replica plating in microbiology. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing our channel. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.